What's up, guys? This is Jay with Guy on Our Bullies, and before I, I go through what I'm, I'm gonna, I want to go through my list. All right. Um, I also got to watch today uh, Noe's Pedigree video. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Noe's on point as far as what the, the new generation of bully breeders is about. Uh, we we have this is like a movement already. I can already feel this movement going on where there's a class of people who are getting into the bully game because they're they're just like they're they're afraid to lose the the good quality classic dogs that they grew up watching. Um, they're afraid. I'm afraid. I'm almost 40 years old. I've I've seen this breed go from you know from a from a pit bull to to something that looked like it came off a spaceship. It's just crazy, right? Um, so, you know, I, I think that as new breeders, we have a responsibility to um, put out good quality, good product for the public. If, uh, if we fall into the hype of all these crazy looking dogs, we're gonna hurt the breed. We're just gonna be labeled just like them. I think that there is a there's this thing where there's two kinds of breeders. You have the the show breeders that are breeding for for the right reasons. Uh, they know you know that it's not about the money. They know that it's that it's mostly about the quality of the product that you're that you're making or you're producing. So a lot of the a lot of the stuff that that we're seeing right now. Is, is is really hurting that it's hurting all of us we we have a we have a situation where the, the bully breeders are kind of like bumping heads because some want to breed some wicked looking dogs and some want to breed some good working you know dogs and it's it's kind of hurting hurting us all regardless of how you see it you know uh, we already have a bad name in this game you know a lot of us stay low key. We don't like to talk about the bully game because it's it's like it's messed up. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to come out, make this little video. Hopefully, some of you guys will, you know, look at yourself really good in the mirror and um, tell yourself or ask yourself why did you really get into this game? Was it for the money? Was it for fame? Was it because you wanted to make a good dog. Um, leave your comments below. I want to hear from you. I want you to tell me, why did you get into the bully game? Um, there's a lot going on with the bully game right now that you know, somebody needs to speak up. People need to start talking because we're, we're headed down the wrong path right now. You know what I'm saying? We got people selling dogs from left to right that are all messed up and they, they have these big YouTube channels and they make all this noise on YouTube but the quality of dogs that they're putting out is is just not cutting it. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's kind of hurting the whole the whole community, in a sense. You know, right now when you if you don't hear nobody say to a guy that's breeding Labradors, uh, "Hey, why are you why do you want to breed this this kind of dog?" You know, you don't hear that from other stuff. You hear it from us because about us because. We're the ones who are managing this breed, uh, believe it or not. The, the people who are buying dogs to breed dogs to try to make a little money, those guys, if, if let me tell you right now, the honest to God truth, that this is a, one of those investments. If you get into the business of, of breeding dogs, this is one of those investments that you don't see a return on investment right away. It, it, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of getting up early in the morning, picking up poop, and y'all know, y'all already know the deal. It ain't easy. You don't see your money right away. You know what I'm saying? And 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 if you don't put out good quality, you willing you you you're gonna go bankrupt. You're gonna end up with a bunch of dogs in your yard that you can't sell. It's a it's the dirty truth. You, if you don't try to put out quality dogs, you're gonna end up hurting yourself more than you're gonna end up spending more money than what you initially thought that you were going to make. It's all messed up. So the, the way that my buddy over there, NOE Bullies, was putting it, listen up. Go over there and look at that video. He's a new breeder. He don't got a crap load of subscribers. 
But the knowledge that that man just put out on that camera is going to make you think about it. Why do you want to? Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to breed dogs? It's not. It's not an easy thing to do. So why do you want to do it? You think it's cute because of the puppies? They're all cute as hell when they're little. Yeah, but they're gonna grow up. And if you can't sell certain dogs because of certain traits or certain uh, deformities, what you gonna do? What you gonna do with your dogs after they they already had a bunch of puppies and you can't have her no more and you're running out of space? You gotta find that dog somewhere to go. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these breeders, I don't know how they do it, but they 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 put a lot of dogs on their hands and then they end up, you know. I understand, bro. If you if you got a a yard full of quality dogs that are that can win shows, that got ribbons, you know that you can that you can reproduce because of the quality of the dog that it is, which is the initially every breeder, and no matter if it's a cow breeder or a rooster breeder, you know a, 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 a rabbit breeder. If a if a rabbit, for example, if a rabbit is born with a with a messed up tail or a, a messed up foot. Come on now, are you gonna breed that rabbit to another rabbit? I want y'all to, to, to get down there in the comment box and, and tell me if you think that's appropriate. That's what's going on in the exotic bully world. They, they breeding dogs that have certain features that make them look freaky and um, they put them out there as this big woo woo thing, you know what I'm saying? And the dogs are not really healthy. They don't live very long. You know what I'm saying? I can point a few out. You already know them. The Miyagi dogs and all them dogs like that. You can't expect them to live very long, buddy. And you and you dealing with health issues, your vet issues. You, come on now. It's not good, bro. It's not good. I'm doing my part as a small time breeder to keep it simple. I'm not trying to blow up on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I, I sell my dogs through other means, but um i use youtube as a means of promoting my brand and kind of now i'm going to start using it more to express my thoughts and helping some of the new guys that are coming in to to, to learn from my experiences and learn from my mistakes and you know become efficient breeders to it you know what i'm saying so with that said i'm going to cut this video short because i don't want to keep yapping and yapping um, I got a lot of work to do. I got a litter on the ground right now, and I'm, 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 I'm moving here, there, and stuff like that. So, um, again, for the people who mentioned me on your video, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you guys like this kind of video, like if you want me to talk about, you know, the bully game and you want to ask questions, you want to, I'm not, I'm not a pro, but I have invested into, you know, uh, uh, some, some quality dogs that I think um, might work out. Some I've invested that are not going to work out. And I can tell you right now, it's just not going to work. I'm not into the exotic look. So um, with that said, I'm going to stick to my classic look um, and, and just promote a good quality dog. You know what I'm saying? So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, I don't take offense to anything that anybody says. I'm not going to delete your comment. You can leave it down there. I'm going to leave it there for everybody else to base their opinion on what you're thinking. So, you know, that's the way I want to bring up my channel. I'm not with that pokey pokey stuff. You want to be negative, you want to be a troll, then yeah, I'm going to delete your ass. But if you have a positive, if, if you don't agree with what I'm saying or you don't agree with what someone else is saying, don't just leave a comment saying some wicked, stupid stuff. You know, have a base, you know, have a conversation, be adult about it, and then we can work from that. You know what I'm saying? So basically that's the way I see it. If uh, if there's anything that I said that might offend some people, I apologize. I'm I'm 100% with mine. I don't I don't hold my tongue. I don't blast people out on by name either. I don't put nobody's kennel on point on on check or anything like that. That's for them to do. They wake up in the morning. They got to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? I I keep mine 100. I tell you what I'm breeding. I tell you what I'm putting out. What you're expecting out of me. You know what I'm saying? And from there, all I could do is be me. I have a responsibility now. My channel is not all big and stuff, but I have a responsibility with my little channel for the little couple hundred people that, that watch me uh, to, to tell them about positive things that you can do with this breed. It's not just because you want to have a dog 
that looks awesome that you want to run up the, up and down the street and take pictures and and put it on youtube or put it on on facebook i want you to be able to run these dogs through some agility challenges put them through some some uh, shows you know what i'm saying and and if they do good in shows if you consider breeding them hey breed them by all means you know come back and talk to me if you get a get a blue ribbon you know get a champa I, i'm going i'm headed that way too i'm right now i'm building a dog that I can run through my first, my very first dog show. I want to be able to take a dog through a dog show. It's one of my dreams right now. I want, I want, I'm almost 40 years old, getting old, and I want to, I want to, I want to be able to take a, a good quality dog into the next generation for my kids to see, you know, and for my kids to have in their family, and perhaps maybe one day champ out and um, have have a successful uh, bloodline. That's my that's my goal as a breeder. Um, I know it's not going to be easy. I'm, I'm starting small. Uh, I'm learning. You know, I'm learning from all those, a lot of the YouTube uh, videos out there. I, I, there's a lot of guys, you guys are doing some really awesome work with your dogs. And I appreciate it, man. It's really, really good to see people that are trying to do good and positive things with the blood, with the, with the breed. And um, there's a lot of good guys out there. There's not, there's not douchebags all over the place. So find some of these. I'll name a few here. Um, if you can, if you want to go through my, I don't know if you can go through my YouTube and see the people that I follow. But a lot of the people that I follow are people that I that I kind of, you know, admire and see the things that they do and I follow in their lead. Um, some of the ones that I've been following lately, I had to get rid of because I find out that that's not. I, I just it was just not working. So I mean I. I move over and keep moving and do the positive thing with the dog. I'm not in this for the exotic look. I'm in this for the classic American bully, which is what, what I think, you know, needs to stick around a little longer.